Hey, yo, what's decent? Yo, I have a crazy battle against my boy Sacred Fire Negro, aka Bushido Blade, cutting all these clowns like Fruit Ninja, son. Let's go. Yo, he's gonna lead up with Conkelder. I'm gonna switch out right away, man. Let's just say, hypothetically speaking, that he even goes for the knockoff. Hey, that's a big risk because I know me first turn, I'm gonna wanna go for the Dream Punch just to see the way that you play. If you wanna like stand and predict me to go for the knockoff and then gonna set up your rocks and stuff like that, hence is what I actually should have done in this case scenario. But that's alright because he switches out into his and I'm just gonna reciprocate the same thing that he did. Go for the knockoff. He predicts that. Has to switch out into Keldeo specifically as he gets the Justified boost. So it got me a little bit scared. I'm like, okay, maybe this guy's like physically oriented. I have not ever seen a physically oriented Keldeo in my life before, but you know, maybe, I don't know. What am I going against? So he goes and knocks me down to 12 HP with the Hydro Pump. Now let's just say that I did not knock off Keldeo's Expert Belt. Now let's just say that he was Wise Glasses. You guys know that Wise Glasses would have actually been able to to finish off the count cutter as where expert belt would have actually left it at that same 12 hp that count cutter was holding on tightly with so now he switches into tangrove i know it's physically defensive so i'm not gonna be able to inflict any damage onto it so i'm gonna take this time to switch out into my choice banded ninjas for sleep talk so there's nothing that this tangrove can do to inflict a significant amount of damage onto something that it quad resists its main typing with so i'm just gonna go for the u-turn it does a little under half underwhelming damage so i'm just gonna go out into my tyranitar now to nullify his leftovers and at the same time because I do have the safety goggles so just because he didn't put me to sleep right away the first turn he went for the giga drain as opposed to going for the sleep powder that's why I went into Tyranitar now but he ends up knocking off my safety goggles which prevents me from blocking him going for the sleep powder so I'm just gonna be able to go for the ice beam not be able to finish it off he goes for the sleep powder and look at that he actually misses the sleep powder but then again when you have the same kind of eyes that I used to play with in kindergarten put them on the little bag with the Elmer's glue and then you have the little paper machine the construction paper to perform a face on the paper bag if you guys remember what I'm talking about leave a like but yo if you got those eyes how do you expect to hit anything in the midst of a sandstorm no less so after his tango bites the dust he's gonna bring in his conqueror I'm gonna bring in my own in order to serve as a death fighter to bring in my ninja just in case he happened to go for the knockoff I'm gonna go for the giga impact as opposed to going for the aerial list because he still has the rotom left over as much as I did want to go for the U-turn I want to inflict damage preferably onto this Conqueror because I'm not really too concerned about the Rotom But at the same time Conqueror was the biggest thing. I'm really really worried about at this point So now he's gonna actually switch while I'm recharging from my Giga Impact I'm using a Choice Banded Ninjas with Giga Impact in OU Let that marinate because it's not marinating for me. I mean are you serious? Did I actually just inflict damage to two of the biggest OU threats? With a clown Pokemon like that? So now he's gonna go for the rest, and that's a common mistake on a choice banded Buffalo because it does not matter how much ball 252 defense 252 HP Rotom has. Buffalo bearing a choice band is just gonna run through it like an Amtrak going one way out of there, like a casualty on a 10 o'clock Channel 2 news, son. I mean, and then look at look at what he does. He brings in Conk Elder. That is another mistake. Conk Elder does not outspeed, and I can run through that too man we're sorry to inform you that conqueror would not be joining us tomorrow because he got ran over by amtrak train he's gonna bring in the landers and try to set up a rock polish my man is trying to run away from the threat somebody's not happening no buffalo says no <laughs> you know so anyway his last pokemon is the genesee and look how much damage this head charge is gonna do assuming that he doesn't go for an attack move and he does not completely set on trying to set up in front of a big threat like this resisted how much is that i mean that's an oh hit ko after stuff rocks and spikes that is completely nuts so first ninjas and then this clown then afterwards, I have the Dolphin left over. I'm just going to be able to go for the Earthquake and knock this Genesect out of the way. Plus one is not going to inflict anything off to a Dolphin. And that was a great, crazy, out of this world, don't know what the hell is going on kind of game that I had just now with my boy, Sacred Fire Necro. So check him out. I'm going to leave a link down in the description. Peace. What you doing?